Okay, so this is a board. I base coated it gray. Um, I taped off the seven by three inch bricks with half inch uh, painter's tape. I had to order that from Amazon. Um, the smallest other tape I could find was like three quarters of an inch. And that's kind of big grab lines. Um, so I taped it off and then I spread the drywall mud over it. And now I just peel off the tape and be prepared to get messy on this part. Have a trash can nearby or a bag because it's a goopy mess. But you have to do it while it's dry. I mean, before it dries. Otherwise, um, the tape won't come off and you won't have bricks. You'll just have a muddy, lumpy mess. So, start to see the bricks here in a minute. This, I, I kind of put the mud on pretty thick because it's actually going to be the back on a faux fireplace. So, um, I wanted them to be pretty visible. Up on a wall, it doesn't matter quite as much. Um, I don't know the thickness of the bricks that I make usually. Um, but they, I kind of give it some texture as I'm, as I'm putting on the drywall mud. So they are kind of different thicknesses and they have little mars and imperfections like real bricks would. this was the messy part and it doesn't matter if you get some on the board or on your wall because um, bricks aren't perfect and it's okay if by digging around in the tape you mess one up a little bit more because again they're not supposed to be perfect um, you have to let this dry for at least 24 hours before you paint it and what I usually do is I um, put a primer on it. Uh, and usually I do that the color of what I want the grout to be. That way I don't have to worry about going in and painting the, the grout on in between each individual brick. You can definitely do that, but it just adds work. Um, so I think I'm probably gonna do gray primer on this also. Um, and I just paint over the, the grout lines and the bricks and that kind of makes it so that the drywall mud won't be a chalky mess. Kind of seals that in, so. Okay, so there's what we have so far and you can see the dimension of the bricks and you can even like if you want them to be more distressed looking you can go in and kind of um, texturize them with a rock or with a wire brush or you know with whatever you can think of um, because there's all different kinds of bricks so have fun with it and let me see your, oh, I didn't finish. Um, after I prime it, I let that dry. And this is after the bricks are completely dry. Like I said, I did this one a little bit thicker. So it's, don't my hands look lovely? Um, I, so it's good. it might take more than 24 hours to dry, but you can definitely see uh, when it starts drying, it'll have um, like very, light looking patches and and dark 
and the dark is where it's still wet. So you need to wait till that's all completely dry and a pretty uniform color, and then go in and prime it. Um, and then when the primer dries, which usually doesn't take very long, if you wanna give it you know, a few hours or so, uh, then you go in and paint. You can paint the bricks all the same color. You can paint them different colors. You can paint them. You can whitewash them, which is what I'm going to do to this one. Or you can, um, what I did to my arches, uh, I painted them, each individual brick, kind of, um, I don't know, I just kind of blended colors and I them on just in random places and I painted all however many thousands of bricks I have and then I went and I whitewashed them and then I did a German schmear over it just using thin set. Um, so that was a fun project um, and it took about three weeks to get it from start to finish from taping off to uh, putting the mud on them, to uh, priming, painting the bricks, whitewashing them, and then German schmear. And they turned out just the way I wanted to have it turn out in my head. So I usually don't stop a project until it looks like what I wanted it to look like. So I'm weird like that. Um, but anyway, uh, I've got a couple more projects on Facebook and Instagram. It's what's, what's my next project is my Instagram handle and it's got periods between each word. So, um, anyway, um, hopefully somebody will get brave and daring and try this. It's just, it's the fun, messy project. It's not expensive at all. The drywall mud is, I think, under $20 um, for a huge bucket that if you're, um, so I used three buckets of that for my arches because I am a crazy person and I did tons. But I would say if you're gonna do an accent wall, probably one of those buckets, um, and it's under $20. And the tape was, I think I got three rolls of half inch masking tape for $11. Um, and then I just used craft paints. Uh, so really it, it's a very inexpensive project to do. Um, usually I would do an accent wall, but like I said, this is the backing to a faux fireplace for my son and daughter-in-law see it finished and I'll try to post some pictures when we actually install it where this little piece of tape go um, when they actually install it on their fireplace I'll try to update the pictures okay I can't do this anymore I need to find some hidden tape there and my hands are a mess so I will come back on here later and show you the progress